So after dissecting, I just check on the size of the breast by wrapping it into the skin and see if I like the projection and everything. Then I decide where to resect. In this case, it's not a big resection, this is more a Pepsi than a reduction, but the principle is exactly the same. Now this shows you after dissecting and you know releasing the skin, skin envelope is completely detached down to the muscle fascia. This is the gland. And if we lift it up, it's also completely detached from the inferior pedicle. So there is no dermal supply to the nipple whatsoever. It's completely detached. Even in the lateral part down to the pectoral muscle. Down to the muscle. So now I, you can reset the lower pole, which I usually do. I always reset the lower pole because I want, you know, to have the new fMRI pole very tight mm -hmm. and very slim. I don't want any bulging there. You just have to respect the central pedicle. Then you can reset the lateral part, which I also usually do. This resection, only the lateral part, depending on the breast size, can be up to 600, 700 grams on a block. By resecting the lateral part of the gland, you do two things for good. One thing is, you reduce this bulging, the lateral bulging that you don't like in large breasts. The second thing is, we all know that up to 80% of breast cancers develop in the lateral part of the gland. By removing it completely, you also reduce the risk of developing breast cancer in this part. Again, I go all the way down to the pectoral muscle. I keep this central fascia and medical intact where the perforators come from. And I keep this strip here intact. Notice please, this one is important. This is where the sensory nerve pierces through the muscle and uh, finds its way to the nipple. So in this, if you preserve this bridge, you preserve the sensation to the nipple. Then you just wrap the breast into the skin envelope. And because you have freed it from all the, all the uh, connective tissues around it, you can easily move it wherever you want. You can move it as, as high as you want, you can place it more medium. That's not a problem because there is no force holding you back. But for large breasts, you can even put sutures with it inside the gland to shape the gland. So if it's a very loose gland, you can just fold it in itself with micro sutures and shape the gland so it becomes like an internal implant.